你好，快去工作之后。On April 1st, the customs officials across southern China busted a wildlife smuggling gang. They seized more than 400 kilograms of pangolin or anteater scales, among other animal parts. It came just five weeks after China's top legislature announced a nationwide ban on trade and consumption of wild animals. Zheng Hong, a legal expert and a member of the top political advisory body, is calling for enhanced law enforcement. He says, given the complexity of the COVID-19 pandemic, it's time to deal with biosecurity threats. We understand that 新冠疫情以前没有那么深刻，可能觉得离我们还很远，而且通过这个传播的途径，一些隐性的传播，使我们深深地融入到了生物安全的这个环境当中。Following the coronavirus outbreak, China has banned all illegal trade and consumption of wildlife as a food. Guangdong province in southern China says it now prohibits eating of all terrestrial wildlife. While here in Sichuan, authorities have highlighted a wildlife. Of 18 types of protected aquatic wildlife, including this kind of sturgeon. But there's a precondition: all the designated wildlife will be artificially bred. Local authorities say the compromise is based on responsible breeding skills and comes in support of millions in China who rely on the business for their livelihood. That policy is echoed by Gong Funeng, a national lawmaker and a drug manufacturer. 老百姓滥捕滥杀、滥吃，这是一定要禁止的。法律禁止。如果啊、呃、有意义的开发啊、呃、管理啊、呃、驯化、科研啊、呃，这是呃可以的。不然就牵连我们人类跟大自然的联系了。He says the argument is supported by the beliefs of traditional Chinese medicine. 我们中医药长时间的啊、呃、这个几千年来，我们啊、呃、掌握了很多的植物、动物、矿物，为我们的健康服务。啊，我们既保护它，又利用它。如果切断了，我们那就把我们人类啊，又给大自然给切断了。China's wildlife protection law was enacted in 1989 and amended four times up until 2018. Under the law, wild animals, including endangered species, can be farmed and traded with government permits. But now, as people are still fighting the pandemic, seeking a legal solution to stop possible transmission of the virus from wild animals, is high on the agenda.